Hey girl, hey, it's your girl Diva. I'm back again. Yes, I done switched it up again, girl. Yes, I have. But anyway, your girl is here. I'm excited to bring you this message. The Lord just told me, like, let's read. What we need to do is read the word. Because all of a sudden, like, I was in uh, Isaiah 61, and I was talk they talking about good news to the oppressed. Are you feeling oppressed, stressed out, pushed down, set to the side, forgotten about? That's what the news is for. When, you, when you're talking to people and you're trying to inspire them, oftentimes you're going to need to talk to people who are feeling oppressed. You want to help lift them up. And so I was looking at um, Isaiah 61, girl. Let's read. <laughs> the sovereign, the spirit of the sovereign Lord is upon me. The Lord has anointed me to bring good news to the poor. He has sent me to comfort the brokenhearted and to proclaim that captives will be released and prisons will be free. So any of you guys who are feeling oppressed, feeling um, bagged down, low, you know, feeling like you can't get through situations, the Spirit of the Lord is sending individuals who are anointed to help you out. And also, when you receive that blessing of someone helping you out, that's when it's your time to go out and do the same thing because there are so many people who are needing a helping hand who needs love who needs to be reached out to who needs help who needs healing and and we have to be the ones to do so once we get our little you know it's almost like you get revived once we get revived it's time for us to go and do the same thing for other people to be there to help them to be uplifted and as you do that things begin to feel better for you especially knowing that you're able to help other people okay also, I was also in um, the part. Let me find y'all. Let me find it. Oh, okay. So um, it says the Lord, um, this is what he's going to do for us. It says, I'm overwhelmed with joy in the Lord, of my God. He's overwhelmed. That's, that's what he does. Like his love and his faithfulness brings us so much overwhelming joy when he comes and shows up and shows out it says for you have dressed me with the clothing clothing of salvation and draped me in the robe of righteousness i am like a bridegroom dressed for his wedding and a bride with her pearls and jewels the sovereign lord will show his justice to the nations of the world he's going to show justice that's amazing because a lot of us may feel like, you know, you've been, like I said, lower, blackballed, um, left to the side, kicked to the curb, all that. You know what I'm saying? Left out in the cold. And that's what happens. The Lord comes in and he brings justice to the world. He brings justice to us when we've been stressed or we've been, you know, kicked to the curb. Like I said, it says his righteousness will be like a garden in early spring. Like with with plants springing up everywhere. Do you hear me? It's going to be amazing when you feel and see these things come to fruition for you. So get excited. That's the way I see it. Um, be encouraged. I'm not sure what you're going through, but we're going to pray about it today. Dear God, thank you so much for this time, Lord. We know that there are many people who are out here and they're feeling oppressed and left out in the cold, feeling kicked to the curb. But Lord, we know that those people and those individuals, you will send someone to come out and encourage them and lift them up. And just as someone comes in to lift us up, Lord God, I ask that you would help us to be the ones to be revived and to be able to do the same thing for other people so that we can all work in unity with your Holy Spirit. Lord, lead us and guide us in every way. Protect us from the dangers of the world, seen and unseen. Create a hedge of protection around us to keep us safe and surround us with the brilliant white light of protection. Lord, we ask that you would keep your hands all around our family, friends, loved ones, homes, cars, trucks, and lands. Lord, we know that you have the whole world in your hand. We know that you are able and willing to bless each and every one of us, that you're able to help guide us and give us the freedom that we need in any time we're feeling oppressed. So we're calling on you and we ask that you would touch us now with touching and standing in agreement. So we ask that you would bless us now, release your anointing and your power. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen.
Yes, indeed. Make sure you stay in. All right, guys, this is the end of just wanted to come on and pray with you guys real quick and, you know, read the word of God. There's nothing wrong with reading his word. So thank you for joining me. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. If you would like to join the Patreon, it's in the description bar below. If you need prayer, um, I mean, like, one-on-one -on -one prayer, make sure you email me. Email me your, your, um, your actual prayer and I'll add you to my prayer list. Thank you guys so much. Be blessed.